Hey everyone, my name is Wendy and today I'm going to teach you how to make under the sea inspired macaroons. Let's go over the ingredients we'll be using. You'll need 3 4th cups almond flour, 1 4th cup granulated sugar, 1 cup confectioner sugar, also known as powdered sugar, 2 large room temperature egg whites. Let's go over the equipment we'll need. You'll need a sheet pan large enough to fit your macaroons, gel food coloring, I'm using violet, a round cake decorating tip, I'm using number 12, a silicone mat or parchment paper to pipe your macaroons on, a large piping bag, a sifter, a large bowl, a silicone spatula, a stand mixer or handheld mixer with a whisk attachment, a whisk or a fork. Let's get started. Place your sifter over a large bowl and sift your confectioner sugar and almond flour together. If you get left with any lumps of sugar or almond flour, you can discard this. Using your stand mixer or handheld mixer, add your egg whites and start beating until they form a foam. Once it forms a light foam, you want to add your granulated sugar a little bit at a time. You'll start noticing that your egg whites will look like marshmallow. This is called a meringue. Continue to whisk your egg whites until they form a stiff meringue. This is an example of a soft peak. See how the meringue falls as soon as you lift it with the whisk? It's not quite ready yet for macaroons. This is an example of a stiff peak. See how when you lift the meringue with the whisk, nothing falls off? This is perfect for macaroons. Using a toothpick, add the color to your meringue. Using a sifter, sift half of your confectioner sugar and almond flour mixture into your meringue. Using a spatula, fold in your flour mixture into your meringue. You want to make sure that you do this slowly so that you don't destroy any of those air bubbles you created. Add the second half of your flour mixture into your meringue. Your meringue is ready to use when you can create a figure eight. If it doesn't form a figure eight, it means it's too stiff. Lightly mix until the consistency of your batter can form a figure eight. Place your piping bag into a cup and pour your macaroon mixture into the piping bag. Make sure not to fill the piping bag too much or it will be hard to pipe. Now it's time to pipe your macaroons. You want to make sure that when you pipe your macaroons, you're piping them straight up and not in an angle. Here's a closer look of what it should look like when you're piping your macaroons. Again, it's important not to pipe at an angle, for this will cause your shells to break when baking. Once you're done piping your macaroons, you want to tap your sheet pan onto the counter for 5 seconds. This will cause any air bubbles that are trapped in your macaroons to surface and pop. If you see a small bubble that doesn't pop on its own, you can pop it using a toothpick. Before baking, macaroons need to dry. So leave them in a warm place in your kitchen for about 30 minutes. While you're waiting for them to dry, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. After your macaroons are done drying, drop the oven temperature to 325 and bake your macaroons for 10 minutes. After your macaroons come out of the oven, let them rest on the counter for 30 minutes. This gives them a chance to cool off and makes it easier to remove them from the parchment paper or silicone mat. Start finding the pairs, 
for your macarons, you want to make sure that they're close in size as possible. Now it's time to get started on the filling. Today we're going to be making a simple American buttercream. For the buttercream, you'll need one stick of butter softened at room temperature, one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar, a pinch of salt. For the flavor, I'm using vanilla bean paste, but you can use vanilla extract or both. One tablespoon of milk. Using your mixer, beat your butter until it's pale and light in color. This will give you a creamier and fluffier buttercream. Slowly add your confectioner sugar to the butter and beat on medium for about two to three minutes. Slowly add in your flavoring. Remove your buttercream from the stand mixer and slowly with a spatula mix it. This will help remove any air bubbles or sugar pockets in your buttercream. If you would like to add food coloring to your buttercream, you can go ahead and add that now. To decorate your macaroons, you'll need a piping bag, edible gold dust optional decoration, a piping tip to fill my macaroons, and fondant to make pearls. To make edible pearls, grab your fondant, take a small piece, and using the palm of your hands, form a small ball. To give my fondant pearls extra shine, I'm going to be using something called luster dust or pearl dust. This will make them extra shiny and give them a slight shimmer. Now it's time to fill your macaroons. When filling your macaroons, try not to go all the way to the edge. Add your edible pearl to your macaroon and top it with another shell. How pretty are these macaroons? To draw mermaid scales on your macaroons, add a little bit of gold dust to a small cup and add a little bit of clear extract to that and form a paste. Using a very thin brush, paint scales on the top of the shell of your macaroons. And this is how you make under the sea themed macaroons. 